The battle continues for a group of veterans who say they might be forced out of their homes. News aide Stephanie Simone has been following this story from the very beginning. She joins us live in Under Haven Newsroom tonight with the latest. Stephanie. Keith and the VA met with families this morning. The VA spokesperson declined an interview again, but families say nothing has been there has been no progress that has been made, so I brought their concerns to Senator Richard Blumenthal. An overcast morning at Seacrest Retirement Center. As veterans deal with the gloomy reality, they are losing their money to live here starting New Year's Eve. I'm going to be homeless, I told you. That's why I, my biggest fear is frostbite. This after an audit revealed the VA was never supposed to pay for them to live here in the first place. This is assisted living. They can only pay for skilled nursing care. Some caretakers just found out themselves. And we were kind of surprised. We knew nothing about it. And we thought the conservators should get a copy of the letter. I can't promise anything, but I'm going to fight for these men. Senator Richard Blumenthal says he plans to meet with the head of the local VA next week. The Highview Manor in Hamden and the Mattituck Healthcare in Waterbury has clients impacted. Blumenthal knows this could result in more vets being homeless. Whether it's grandfathering or adding services that make this residential facility qualify under the current law, I'm not saying break the law, but let's be humane about applying it. Owen says her brother and the other men here at Seacrest deserve better. I'm not happy about it. These vets have given an awful lot uh, for their country, and they should be taken care of. They seem to be forgotten these days. Despite Jackson saying he will be homeless, there is still some hope. The owner of the Highview Manor told me this afternoon all five veterans who live there will be able to find other sources to help them stay at the Seacrest. The owner there is hoping the government will step in as he says it's an honor to have them at their facility. Blumenthal says he will meet with the head of the VA next week and let us know if any changes can be made. We'll keep on top of this. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, News 8.